Um, anyway, just to introduce you to what we're trying to do. Um, we're, tra we're trying to look at the, um, we've devised an activity that we hope will bring together different communities to talk about race. Um, so fundamentally our research is built on our, our experience um, to try and develop and think about um, talking about race in a safe and honest place. Because um, as you know, the conversation of actually raising race, um, raising the issue of race can be problematic. Um, thankfully, we may have our post up now. Yes, it looks like the post is all go. Thank you, Paula. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so there's a recognition that um, in many respects that even just raising the topic of race is problematic and put people on the defensive. So one of the things we wanted to think about is how we can actually bring this about, this conversation about, get this conversation about, um, and deal with this conversation in terms of different groups as organizations, individuals, groups of people, people who have had local experience or contact with people from other, other um, platforms, other, um, other cultures and so on. Um, so we think about looking at people of color and minority ethnic groups, how we can get the conversation going. Especially at this present time with so much um, media coverage around the issues of black lives and so forth. So we, we, we thought that the way to do this, and this has been piloted to Paula has actually used this in some respects, um, the best way we can probably do this is by um, doing some sort of board game that will flag up some of the issues that we think people ought to be reflecting on and talking about. So the board game encourages conversation about race to take place where people, where parties will be able to reflect on their own understanding and perception. Um, and the open for the board game is that the board game will not only get people starting to have this conversation, but also lead to some action plans um, people can make in order to address some of the structural inequalities that actually um, impact on people's lives, people from the BAME community's life. Um, the sort of game we're talking about, thinking about using it is basically a snakes and ladder game, um, which we configured in a way that will encourage people to take on different personas and experiencing different sort of events in those personas. And hopefully that will engage people to reflect on their thinking, their understanding and their particular pers perspective on things. Um, I don't know if Paula has anything she wants to add to that. Um, basically, as Patrick has said, we've used a board game and there's quite um, a lot of research around sort of board game pedagogy. Patrick and myself have piloted it with students. I've piloted it also with professional development staff in terms of our master's programme. Um, so we, we're aware of the impact um, it can make. Each of the four of us in the team, Emma, Paulina, Patrick and myself, um, we're all, um, you know, have conducted research elsewhere in terms of race, um, white privilege, discrimination in the workplace, all of those sorts of issues. So we wanted to bring that together in order to create a space. And I said to Patrick this morning, even despite doing, you know, the research that I've done and etc. And I was just saying today, I read a title of a blog and it didn't just catch my attention, it held my attention because it asked a really simple question. And for anybody sitting there at the moment, if you just consider, I, I, it forced me, it said, how would I start a conversation about race in my workplace? And even though I research it, and even though I'm on various committees, I found myself thinking, okay, where, where have you started that conversation, Paula? about race, would you bring it up in your department? Are you waiting for somebody? Are we waiting for internal communications? So in terms for me to have those, we were aware, you know, those sort of issues, those sort of reactions, we were aware, you know, that it is sensitive. Um, Patrick and myself have been doing some research around student engagement um, through storytelling, and that's been based in Lincoln, in Lincoln and around Lincolnshire, and we yet to, um, can distribute that um, we're in the final stages and that clearly looks at experiences of BAME um, students in Lincoln, in Lincolnshire, because I think that's because of the contextual aspect, um, you know, it lends itself to having conversations. So as Patrick has said, and, and as Paulina and Emma have mentioned, you know, it's great talking about stuff, but you need to move it on from talking. And obviously there's lots of talking going on in social media 
um, some of it accurate, much of it, you know, um, inaccurate. So it's about creating space, creating time, creating the pilot, using the pilot within the university. So, you know, if anybody as an individual wants to make a small action or somebody in a team, a module team, somebody within a department or a school or even a whole college, it lends itself to so many different scenarios where it encourages um, action because I think talk needs to turn into use of action. So I don't know if Patrick wants to say any more on that. Okay, the, the last thing I would say is basically that um, although at the moment we're focusing on race in terms of this game, um, of course it can be adapted and we hope it will be adapted and we can see how it can be adapted to address all sorts of diversity and inclusion issues. Um, so that's where we wanted, that's our thinking behind it. Initially we'll be working on it within the university then, then piloting it on a group um, of people out in the community then eventually if you like giving it away to people to work within their communities their organizations to flag up their issues as they see them and address those issues and fundamentally the part of the game is the game is about getting the conversation going and action so we see these two things and together together um, I think that's it. We've, I've seen some comments about, put, you know, possibly getting it on Twitter. Of course, we'd always be look hopeful to explore all sorts of avenues in which um, we can use this as a means of, like I said, getting the conversation started. And once the conversation started, getting some definitely outcomes from that conversation to address the issues we all know are out there.